Alrighty guys, we are back here on Black Educated and Biz Bro. And so right before the break, I was teasing our next guest, which I'm very much excited to talk about because I first came across this luxury, black-owned, exquisite brand at um, our Black House Black Market business pop-up, which we have at the Legacy Center once a month, which by the way is going to be coming up. Well, I think by the time this you guys hear this, it would have actually passed. But nevertheless, we always have that the last Thursday of the month. And um, he was there at the pop-up. This is the last Thursday, right? No, it's the last Thursday. Oh, Our the black media, media mixer. Mm -hmm. oh, the black, okay. the, so the State of the Black Media Mixer is always the last Tuesday of the month. Okay. And the pop-up is always the last Thursday of the month. I can, tomorrow. I can come to that. Yeah, come tomorrow. We even know this is going to air on Friday. But he hopefully he will be there. That. Yeah, he won't, but <laughs> <laughs> so, so back to this amazing. So the name of the brand, um, Jai Lyle, you know, just that is alone. He came into the event. I mean, we was you there at the he was there the one he was there. He came up there, dripped out, had on his uh, you know, does the, the, the coat he created and designed. He had the little he was like, it gave me real noob shit, is what it kinda gave like, me. When he walked in, I saw the That's first vibe I got. The whole vibe, he had a is champagne, um, <laughs> bottle popping. Is it the case? That's not the case. <laughs> my my Send uncle. it to the white. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. to, to, to answer your question, no. Okay. Um, but my, my family is uh, all Greek. My mom is a Delta. My grandma's AKA. Okay. My uncle's a new. My granddad's an Alpha. So it's in, okay. my, it's in the lineage. Yeah, you know, yeah. but, uh, but me personally, no. That's dope. So, but that goes a part of the drip. So, pretty much, it's a lot of black excellence, you know, black high society excellence, which you can tell is very much inspired in his brand. And one of the things that I'd like that he put in here is bio is that, you know, it's a luxury heritage brand and they aim to deliver garments and lifestyle items that tell our story while cementing a legacy highlighted by the trumpets of a family and serving as an inspiration to attract the luxuries of your mind and it's just like it's just on some deep sexy luxury shit and i feel like we want to buy this gucci this prada this fendi and stuff like let's get this black on drip got the same quality so we both okay you know <laughs> we're gonna pray for you they, but you know nevertheless we want to welcome him to the show y'all make some noise for mr jai lyle thank you, thank you. Did i do that right yeah no you did it right man um, um. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's that's right. hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. The essence, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Now that's dope. We um, we go to events. We frequent different things, and we get dressed up. And we, I'm I'm into fashion. Randy's into fashion. Mm -hmm. My wife is a stylist. Hey. So she's heavy into fashion. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but when you walked in. Not a butt, but I saw you when you walked in and you was fly. These glasses and the shirt are matching. Is this a part of your line? Everything I got on is a part of my line. That's what I love about fashion people who do their yes. clothes, they wear their yes. own shit. Yes. <laughs> and it's yes. dope though. Like, I, I can dig it. Tell me about what you're wearing right now. Um, Right now, I got on a linen shirt with a. Uh, with uh, tonal stripes. Uh, I have sunglasses on with uh, my logo. Um, I have on driver moccasins. Um, these are all produced by me, so um, you know this is just a, a, a casual look for me. You know, just relax, want to kind of come in and vibe with y'all. Okay. You know, so just something chill, something light. So this is your logo, then. Absolutely. I love it. Thank you. So I got a, a um, it's not a thing, a fascination with how they used to pour the seal and right. hit oh, it and yeah, stamp it, and, like and that's what this appears to be for sure. Kind of sure. like the. What is it embossed? Is it embossed? Yeah. Is it embossed? Smart man, you own it, man. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Tell me about the logo. The logo, yes. it, it represents a number of things, but um, just to kind of give you a, a short, quick answer. Um, growing up, I'm with a FAMU, I'm an HBCU alum, mm. you know, so right, go uh, shout out FAMU. Um, right, right, right. So like my friends would be like, Jai, uh, what are you thinking about this outfit? Jai, I like what you got on. Essentially looking for my seal of approval. So hence, Let's see what you did. <laughs> right, right, right. Hey, right, I just right, got right, that right. just now. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Slow, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a drink. It, it, <laughs> it, so, it, so that kind of inspired it, and then like, ultimately, I was like, wow, maybe let me make something that's palatable, that's recognizable, mm -hmm. but make it my own. You mm -hmm. know, um, in the fashion space, because it's something that obviously you know you you identify with, it has some sense of regality and and and, and uh, sense of. Uh, 
royalty, you know? Yes. And so um, I started this brand ultimately with a a wallet. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Oh. Do you have those on you? My man. Well, I, yeah. Is this snake? <laughs> it's a uh, python. Yes, it is. Oh, look at that snake. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do a little <laughs> something. That's nice. Thank Hold you. on. Let me look at the seal. That really caught my eye. We might need to post one. that on the IG. That's tough. It's Thank so you. intricate. Sexy. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate the love for sure. So that's how it started for me. And like, you know, I would always, I, I'm not a, a person that carries like big bulky wallets. Sorry, you know, I'm um, open your wallet. I'm no, go ahead. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna slide out, it out, in here. Um, I'm not a person who carry like the big bulky wallet in the back. Mm -hmm. I always carry mm -hmm. card holders. But like, if you notice, card holders typically come with your cards and anything that you have personal exposed. So I'm like, it will be dope if you have a card holder that just kind of closes yeah, and fastens and has snap, a set yeah. of steel. So that's kind of how the concept started. And it's once like I, a mini clutch. That's dope. A mini clutch. That's exactly. Oh my God. <laughs> Your wife is ripping off on you. <laughs> I literally like. Do you have one now? Because I want to exchange. Like I just have this from Sephora. Yes, we should. Buy like one. We got now. we got a very limited supply left, but I can I can take care of you for sure. What you All got? right. Yeah. It literally oh, looks like his, but no, this is plain compared to his. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, it's hers I, is a I snap. Agree. Compared to that, it is. Yeah. I like that though. <laughs> Cause I'm the same way. Like I haven't carried a wallet in so long. Like right. I used to carry a bill fold. Right. Then I was like, eh, I want something a little more sleek. And then I just took my cards out and just put them in my pocket. It's like it's too bulky. <laughs> yeah. I just don't like it. Yeah, yeah. It's just for me. It's just too cumbersome. I actually carry it in my front pocket as well. Exactly. You know what I mean? So it's like pick pocket. In and out. You know, <laughs> the brand is about understated opulence. So like when you go to the bar, you're taking your wife out, taking your girl out. Yes. Like bam, I can pull out this wallet real smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much would you like? And then you put it back in your pocket, no problem, you smooth, it's, it's in and out. You know what I mean? That's First day problem. talking piece right there. <laughs> I like exactly. this guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so let's kind of get into like, like how long have you been doing this? Like when did you actually start your company? Um, Roughly, I mean, really my whole life, really. Because I'm doing fashion, right? Ooh. And I'm a creative at the end of the day. I'm a multi-hyphenate creative, so I came up here to do music. I play the saxophone, I've done visual art, oh. so, you know, so, but just to kind of answer your question specifically regarding my brand, I've been doing this for roughly about five or six years, you know, and um, just kind of fine tuning, um, refining the brand, filtering the process, and now we're at a point where we know who we are as a brand, we know what we're doing, we know the direction we're, we're going towards, now we need to put a spotlight on what we're doing and yes. showcase everything, so um, roughly five to six years, but now it's a time to kind of take off and, and just show the world Jai Loud and Brand and what we're doing collectively. Okay, and so that kind of makes me want to go into the next thing about the origination and I know how your mother is very inspirational about it and I know with Mother's Day is coming up, I just want to know your story, your background, how she ties into this brand and to motivate you to have to start it. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, my mom, you know, she went to school for fashion at Tuskegee and so um, a lot of a lot of what I'm doing, I feel like I'm kind of carrying out, you know, yeah. her dream and her legacy to a certain degree. Um, but the last color I saw my mother in was red, you know, so hence why red is a, a, a right, so, <laughs> yes. right, right, right. To me as a child, I'm just seeing red. Yeah, that's you know what right, I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't. So you don't know about the red. Greek life. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I just like, okay, that's my mom, you know. But um, and so, yeah. I'll, <laughs> so like. <laughs> During the day of her pat, well, or, or, or her funeral, I made a promise to her that um, I would be the best version of myself. Yeah. You know, and so this brand is just an extension of me delivering on that promise. Yeah. You know, and then the seal is like something that is some sense of finality, and then, and then uh, you know, delivery, a seal, yeah. like you know, what I mean? yeah. like, right, 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 right. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> right here, right, right, exactly, exactly. So, you know, um, this is this is not, although it does, the brand bears my name, right? Yeah. This is not about me. This is about my family. We're a luxury heritage brand, and I'm giving my family all of the glory, ultimately, you yeah. know. So, um, I'm, I'm here to tell a story that's beyond just me. Um, I grew up with um, a sense of wants, not needs, from a uh, multiple areas from love, culture, resources, just to name a few. So I want to be able to highlight that and tell that story, the progress of, 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 of successful families. I'm a product of luxury parenthood, nice. you know? Okay, now let's pause. Luxury parenthood, right. what, what, what is that people want to know? For me, I define that 
as growing up with um, um, abundance of love, resources, um, just I grew up with both parents in the house. So not that you can't be a product of luxury here at up without that, but it's just like when I was growing up, I didn't realize that was I was somewhat of an anomaly until like I was like in college and some of my peers okay. weren't afforded some of that. Like I was like, I'm thinking this is a normal thing. Yeah. You yeah. know, um, and, and, and people have been successful without those circumstances. But like for me, it's like, wow, this is a luxury that a lot of my peers Terrible have not been afforded, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so I grew up with that, hey, bro, you're going to college. Not like, yeah. <laughs> like okay. from, you know what I mean? Like my granddad was a band director at Florida A&M. Uh, well, was we assistant band director and then it became a band director at Alabama State University. All right. My grandma went to TSU. HBC, did, right? oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, this was just, this was a standard. Like I was at the Batillions. I was at the debutante balls. Yes. You know, so, so, it is different though when you're in, when, it's different to be involved and to outside looking in because <clears throat> being involved, I was exposed to so many different things. Like I had never heard of Jack and Jill. Right. But, but the, the kids who were in it, Part of Jack and Jill. I was in Jack and Jill. And see, <laughs> that's like another black elite level mm -hmm. that doesn't even get talked about. What's Jack and Jill again? I'll let him explain because I was not a part of Jack oh, and Jill. Wow. So Jack and Jill is a childhood organization that kind of facilitates like um, growth and development of children. There's a lot of uh, extracurricular activities. It's like Boys and Girls Club. Essentially, yeah. To, mm -hmm. um, but no. But, but right. Yes. More elite? Yeah. I'm, I'm not yeah. going to. I'm not going to qualified tiers but like ultimately it was an opportunity to kind of get exposure to different things that okay. that children who look like us typically did not have the opportunity to do so you know so it's like some black I believe shit it oh, I it. Because it. Because <laughs> we can be straight because we shoot straight shooters yeah, right, right, right. Right. And, and I know people costs. some people might look down on I don't I wish I actually could have been yeah. and if I had the opportunity then that would be great. I know some great people who's done it and they've gone on to do great things. So it's something to be proud yeah, of in my yeah, opinion. Sure. Right. And for me, again, this was my life. This is mm -hmm. not something I'm looking at like from your perspective, like this right. is a black guy, but this is, I'm just going to, I'm going to Jack Jill me. Yeah. Like, you, you know what I mean? This is what I know. And I, it wasn't until I was an adult that I realized, oh wow, I was a 40. You guys are so great. Right. So I need to showcase fun. the progress of our struggle as a people. Yes. Opposed to like, the narrative of just us getting out of the mud. No, we need to show the progress of us getting out of the mud. We need yes. to show the, the, the extension of that. So I'm here to to raise the standard of fashion, of our expectations, and just overall life, and, and have you attract the luxuries of your mind. Come on. Yeah. Are there any black luxury brands that you support or you partner with? Um, I support. There's, there's a lot of uh, brands that are doing their thing right now. Um, you know, Fear of God, um, Rich Fresh. Um, these are brands that are top of mind that are just okay. you know doing their thing and and but for for me you know I'm I'm I appreciate what they're doing but I'm here to let you know who we are as a brand there, let's yes. as well you know so um you know I, like I you know even with Virgil rest his soul you know he, he did amazing things with um, off white Louis Vuitton yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yep 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 um, but yeah. uh, but me specifically. I'm here to raise a standard and tell my story, you know. And so where do you get your inspiration from? Your design, your, your, your you know, ideas? Where do you, is that all just from you directly? Right, well, yes, but at the same time, I have a multitude of influences specifically within fashion, you know. Um, the, the brand that made me believe I could do this was Carl and I. Okay, you yes. Know, uh, so that's, that. I, I always start with Carl yeah. and I, um, but uh, I grew up with, like, Ralph Lauren in my household, in spite of what's going on with him, with, with, with the Morehouse situation, that's all another thing we're talking uh, about, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But I work for I work with Ralph Lauren as well, so that's a pillar of my influence. That's and then yes. um, a hybrid between Louis Vuitton, Versace, and Gucci, and that those pillars of influence you get Jot Lau, you know. Right. So um, you talk my language, right? 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 Mm -hmm. Thank. <laughs> so I mean, you know, ultimately, like I'm, I draw from inspirations from pop culture to like 
different cartoons I grew up with. Just like I'm, I, again, as I mentioned, I'm a, I'm a creative. I'm a multi hyphen. Yes. So like I just kind of draw. Even I may draw from this podcast. Even you know what I mean to come up with the with the design. That so would be really like, dope. Please let us know. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. So these models, we got you. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. But like ultimately, um, well, I'll show you one of my inspirations right now. So this is um, a sweater. Oh, like black love is the vibe it's giving me. Right, and so the name of this sweater is called uh, the Love Supreme sweater, right? Ah. So my dad, check it out. yeah, go ahead. So my dad, as I mentioned, I played a saxophone growing up, right? So my dad used to lock me in my room every Saturday and have me listen to John Coltrane, Stan Getz. Hey, yes, so yes. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen. And had we mimic them, so hence the name Love Supreme. But this is showing like black love. And I'm a product of that love. Yeah. Aww, you know what the shirt telling me? Come here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know I love you, right? <laughs> right, right, right. And so, like, and so, I like that. And then here's another sweater, right? Ooh, now that's my skin, right here, boy. Yeah. Thank you so much. So, the dark skin fellas, we wear the colors. Yeah. That right there. Yes. That is and it's very right. spring, you know. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. And so that sweater, right? And it's nice and heavy. Um, it's 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 called the Hankins Park Tennis Club, mm -hmm. right? So Hankins Park is a park in Orlando, Florida, where I'm from. And so Dr. Sylvester Hankins, he was a pillar in the community, mm -hmm. and uh, started a park where um, there's tennis courts, recreation. He's in Orlando. Yep. Oh, that's where I'm from. No, no, okay, that's, Orange County. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hankins, that's Jasmine. Grandfather. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's my that's my cousin. Jasmine Hankins. I used to work with her. Yeah. We, all right. Oh, Come okay. on, okay. Yes. Yes. Right. Wow. Right. Okay. Right. Right. So like. Um, Florida man. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not like, don't get me. No, 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 but anyway, um, Hankins Park, as man, that was my, that's my cousin. And so, like, my dad learned how to play tennis at Hankins Park, and that's my dad on the sweater. Oh, oh wait, let's look at that. Right, right, right. That's a small world. Exactly. exactly. Your daddy is a polo character, boy. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's big. That's that is dope. so it's awesome. It's, like, it's, dope. It's, hit, it's a hidden gem, it's definitely a hidden gem. Right, so as I mentioned, I like and he just like actually it. got nominated to the Tuskegee Hall of Fame for sports as well. All um, right, so, yeah, yeah. Mr. Lyle yes, as well. Yeah. Yes, yes. ma'am. Yes, ma so again, as I mentioned, we're a luxury heritage brand, right? The brands that you like, you mentioned you like Gucci, Versace. These are a luxury heritage brand. Mm -hmm. So I'm just telling my story. Like Ralph Lauren was a an individual that came from humble beginnings and projected stories into his garments that he thought the affluent lived like. I am actually telling these stories from my life. Like, yes. <laughs> like it's I'm not, right, right, right. Hits your father's on right, your sweater. Right, like right, right. Yes. So like, it, going back to your earlier question, Randy, my family is a big part of my inspiration. And like, right. so you didn't have to know that story to find this sweater like appealing or attractive. Cool, right, 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 right. Yeah. But there is a story behind a lot yes. of the garments. Yes, so it makes it even better. I love it because it's almost like you treat your pieces like it's art. You know, it they all art. have yeah. it's a story, it's meaning. And I love that because I feel like, you know, you want people to connect with your pieces. I think that's what elevates the regular brand. Well, that look cute. No, you want people to connect with it and I feel like your messaging is doing that. Thank you. It. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate because we rock these other name brands. You don't even know what their symbol, their symbolisms, what they represent, yeah. but we're so busy supporting them and it's like well, what about our people that's actually bringing luxury versus yes they rock that shit because it's recognizable yeah and, exactly and that's why we just got to bring brand awareness to make our mm -hmm. black brands recognizable i like yeah. this i love it what is your top seller like your top seller for your brand um right now we're doing really well with our scarves um I yeah, love so, scarf. yeah, yeah. So I mean, I just have one of the out loosely right silk now. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mulberry silk. Mulberry silk. You know what I immediately it's thought of? What? Mary J. Blige. Giving white sunglasses. Yes, come on. Let me style this real quick. Come on, Brian. Yes, with the AKA. Yes. I was your lover. Your sex, Yes. 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 Y
Let them know. Is, gold is from Africa. Everything is from Africa. <laughs> right? <laughs> so <laughs> I, I appreciate the sentiment, but like, we're just, they got it right. right, right. Mm -hmm. We're just commandeering what's rightfully ours Absolutely. at the end of the day. Absolutely. So hence the name, the Lafa and Jifa scarf. Mm. Ah. I right. feel like a goddess. I'm right. sorry. Right. I know you're I obsessed with that beautiful <laughs> scarf. Soaking it all in. Right, right. Did you bring, you bring some more articles of clothing? Um, we are lucky. He just keeps pulling stuff. <laughs> Oh. That's what I thought. Bring that drip. See, this is my favorite color. Oh yeah, yeah. I love green. Ooh, that's too. Why. Come on, love right. yeah, I love the lions. Oh, yes, thank royalty. You, thank you. And so this, even this, even this garment has a story. Like my uncle George, he was a style uh, icon within the family, and uh, in the process of me creating this garment. Um, he sent me like a Gucci jacket that had like a shawl collar, right? So I knew I was in alignment and going in the right direction, right? But um, essentially, I wanted to create a garment that had the elegance of like a cardigan sweater with a shawl yes. collar, but at the same time, the comfortable feel of like a bomber jacket, hence the LeGeorge jacket in my Put that on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see how this, how this collar works. So like, think of a, think of a cardigan sweater Right. With I'm the, seeing the bomber. Okay. So I, I need to see this live and in action. Yes, guys. He's trying on the uh, video, on the jacket for those that are listening. Oh, yes. Right. So oh, that, come on now. Let me make sure we're getting it right. Mm -hmm. Pop the collar a little bit. Mm -hmm. bam, bam, yep. bam. Oh, yeah. I love that. That is so yeah. nice. Right. Let's fit it, I, I, I too, Tori. Are we good? Okay. Okay. Yes. Come okay. on, Drip. Right, are we good? We good to go? Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, yeah. like, and then if you notice with the band, as you mentioned, what are some of my inspirations? Like, I have, I have pop culture influences. So, the, so Michael Mike. Jackson was a big mm -hmm. pop culture yes. influence for me. But as you notice, Mike was giving us a lot of game that we he didn't was. know. <laughs> and he saw us. He was a humanitarian. Mm -hmm. You know, all the planets are lining up. Like, so. This band is about me being on the right side of history. Nice. I know that's right. And our yes. brand being on the right side of history. So it's like, yeah, there's a dope aesthetic. It looks cool. But again, there's a story behind what we're doing with everything in terms of our trademarks and everything that we're delivering as a brand. Love it. I love it, Jala. Y'all are popping the design, the branding. It's definitely giving me luxury and heritage. Yeah, I like that. Um, but let's go ahead because I know we're going to get ready to come to a close here. But you, you got some amazing shit coming up here. I know on July the 15th, you're going to pop up shop at Phipps. Plaza. Yep, yep, yep. So we're, merge cut. Yep, yep. we're working on uh, finalizing the details of that, but um, once we get all that confirmed, we'd love for everyone to come out and join yes. us. Um, we've got a couple special guests that we're going to have involved with the event, but definitely um, excited about that to kind of showcase the brand and have you enter the, uh, welcome to the Jeweliverse, that's that's my the world. The Jeweliverse, <laughs> yes. You know, where it's, um, uh, you get a, a piece of art, a piece of jazz, just a, a, a sense of who I am, you know, because bringing you into my mind from a music perspective, we want to indulge your senses from taste, smell, sight, sound, and just tap into your mind, you know, so nice. um, definitely um, once we get more details on, to, on that, We'll let you know, Randy, and let everybody know, and, and have you come join us. I got, sure. a, I got a quick question for, for you. For sure. Me too. It's going to make them work dear to me. Oh, <laughs> that, that, They that. might not know it, but I'm going to know it. I'm going to ask you. I just need one and just spit it out. What's the fragrance that you're wearing? Not right now, but what's the fragrance that you like? Boom. I'm wearing that. I'm actually developing a fragrance. Come Are on. You? Yeah. That's good. But I still need an answer. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not saying like tell me what you're wearing. I, I mean I don't smell anything. But right. well, some of some of my inspirations are Jean Paul Gaultier, okay. uh, YSL, Libre, Dolce Cabana, Versace black jeans, Versace blue jeans. So you more designer, no niche brands, no niche houses. Um. I like real Cartier Declaration. I like real clean, light smells that are masculine. Okay. Yeah, just, just to kind of like, I mean, yeah, do, put me on. Do you, okay. <laughs> you, all right, what, I, what, I, I'll, I'll give you some. I ain't going to give it to you over the air. Okay. okay. You want to wear somebody else to have me? Well, let, but, but first and foremost. No, my, my dog, no. I tell him. First and foremost, let me shout out Mr. Chris Classic. Okay. Sabe yeah. Fair. Um, you know, he has some amazing perfumes, fragrances as well. Um, so it's a dope, dope. Uh, individual all together that has a multitude of the things it's got going but so he you need to check him out in terms of fragrances for nice. sure what was his name uh, uh chris classic chris classic yeah, okay. yeah yeah nice so you're developing one 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, working what do you you said you like the the clean crisp? Is that what you're going for? Right. So um, we're working. I don't want to give you too much, but like right. um, in terms of like my essence, my vibe, what I like in terms of a, a cologne, a perfume, um, is something that is not too domineering, but at the same time has a light, clean scent mm -hmm. that's masculine. Um, but I, I gave you examples of if people are familiar with these fragrances like uh, Dolce Gabbana, yeah. uh, Versace Black Jeans, Cartier Decker. These are light smells, but still are masculine, right? But for instance, like everyone knows what what is everyone knows Issy Matthew, right? Mm -hmm. I like Issy. It's a little too sweet for me though. Okay. It smells so delicious. It's it's good. Don't get me wrong. I like it, but it's 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 a little too it's it's too. It's too sweet. For you want more you masculine, more, like that teak wood. You more of a toward the chrome, then, because that will be a light, but it's very no. it's more masculine than. It's yeah, a, but like you, you're familiar with John Park Gautier, right? Yeah. That's that formula's like, changed. It's not what it used to be. But right, right, right. The classic yeah. that classic Dolce Gabbana, mm -hmm. classic Versace, blue jeans, black jeans. You know that that where it's like, damn. All right, I smell it. It's good, but at the same time, it's not too dominant. It's a clean, yeah. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Yeah. Right. Okay. I like Understand the opulence. That's what I'm about. Mm. So go ahead and tell us, so like, how can we follow? How can we purchase? Like all the good stuff so we can stay connected with Jalal Brand. For, for sure. Thank you. Um, you can visit www.jailyle.com where you can um purchase the Le George. Are, um, That's the jacket. He's yes, on the jacket. Yes, Lafa yes. and Jifa scarves, and then um, you can contact me directly on uh, IG at J A I L Y L E. Uh, you can do custom garments. We have we can do pea coats, sweaters, um, anything that has not been made available on the site. I'm open to any requests. It, essentially, we can create anything you can think of. You know, you have to let me tell you. No, we can't do that. You know, so. Yeah. Nice. I appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. You guys have been so amazing. That's um, the bag you walked in with. Yeah, that's right. so that's an ostrich. bag is fly. <laughs> that's, that's a that's an ostrich duffel bag. Yes, I love that red bag. <laughs> Travel bag. Yes. Right. Carry on board. Real sexy. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Okay, awesome. well we definitely appreciate you, King, for being on the show. Definitely sharing us your history, your family, your baby, your amazing brand that you know, we're gonna look forward to seeing like, oh, we know that brand. Oh, he was on our show. Like, we're looking forward to that because I believe that's what's coming in your future. I will be sure, guys, make sure you tap in, go to the website, jilal.com, everything you need accessible there. Um, he does custom, like he said. You can get some of the pieces. A pop-up is coming soon, so make sure you stay connected with him on social media so you can know more about that event. So we're going to take a quick break, guys. When we get back, we have another guest. This next guest, I'm going to give you a little sample. Do y'all remember when we had um, 3-1-A Baby? The rapper, when we was in, um, we had a studio show. Did I remember Apple? her? No, we, we all uh, slapped her music. Oh, okay, no, I don't remember. Okay, well, that's just cute. A real, you <laughs> wasn't here. And Ron, it, Zayda, remember, she's shaking her head. Yes, yeah, Zay from the Bay got sick. She got Nevertheless, this <laughs> producer, Bay, she's been back here in person. She's moved to Atlanta from Texas, and she's going to tell a little bit about her upcoming artist. So, we're going to talk with her the next break, but you got to keep it locked right here on Black Educated and Broke. <laughs>